Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Saucy McLittlefist, and today we are playing To the Moon. In the last one, we putzed around this bookstore, we, we talked about the book series Animorphs, and now we are preparing this memento. We're gonna do this puzzle here. Uh, okay, I guess I can't go that way. Um... Yeah. I'm not very good at puzzles, by the way. I don't know if you've been watching any of the previous videos, but I'm not very good at these. And I can't believe... that I can't do that. Boom. We did it. And now she's, uh, thinking. Let's activate this memento. Receive note, Animorphs. Yeah, did you ever read the Animorphs book series when you were a kid? I never did. I kind of wanted to. Some of my friends were into it. But I never did. Ah, uh, everyone's leaving already. But I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. Alright. I guess we're gonna be walking around this parte. An old Animorphs book. A glass jar of pickled olives. I see La Frange, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Alright. Let's go over here. There's nothing over that way. And now we're stuck. Can I click on those? No. Let's go up this way. Uh... Okay. Did we just go into the lighthouse? No. Do you feel any different? Now that you've got now that we've got the rings on, I mean No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. 
just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities? Do you like the name Anya? Or do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Aw, oh, look at them. Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. And now it's daytime. And we're making our way slowly down the lighthouse, down Anya. promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Oh, a wedding! How adorable. Act the wedding. Uh, yeah. What do you think this well, that was? What did you think this that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? Alright. And there's the Google Play ad, even though I paid for the game. Please buy the- please buy the game to support us, even though I've bought the game. That's one complaint that I saw in the reviews for this game, that that ad pops up even though you've purchased the game. It says, please buy the game, even though you already bought it. Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Thanks. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. 
Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. My mom calls me by that by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Act, no, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against that, those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Receive note, Joey. I'm so proud of Joey. It can't be held, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think that this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess them for some rot roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Alright. Prepare the memento. And activate. Receive note, dead rabbit. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know... Something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like- don't you look at me like that. It smells like a farm. And road- and roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Do what? You know what? Don't don't not ride that horse. What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh, crap. That can't be good. Ah, do something. Don't just stand there. Help me. 
Damn it, this was not supposed to be in the- this was not in the job description. We received a note of some kind, but I accidentally clicked out of it before we could see it. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah, Ack! River! What's the matter? Let's go. Hey, wait up. Oh, I wonder if Neil got off the hor that horse yet. Eva! Oh. Still stuck on that horse. This is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. Oh, what a corn cob. What, what the corn cob? Control direction with joystick. Catch the others quickly. behind a tree. Here's the- here, this this memento will do. But I'm not getting on that horse again. You go get the rest of the memory links. Prepare the memento. Is this the diag- is the diagnosis certain? What's her diagnosis? Yes, we've researched- we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive development disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a whole lot of trouble. 
Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling about you in this relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give this book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd... I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. A brown plain handbag. A stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Receive note, the clock ticks. Just a bit longer, they'll be calling for you soon. Prepare the memento! Oh, we did it in the best time, too. It's awesome. There's the Google ad again. Please buy the game that you already bought. Psst, look. I know, I can't believe you once paid to see this crap in the theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Holy overcooked macaroni. The kid in the theater is all by himself. What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. 
That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how can anyone last through this rubbish? And thus, the movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Q.E.D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Alright, everyone, we're going to end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or don't. I don't give a shit. And I'll see you all in the next one. And, uh... Goodbye, everyone.